Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are playing on our PVA official server, AU servers, the one I play on regularly. We are on the island map and we are going to run both of the water caves. We're going to run the, the hard water cave first, which is the east water cave. And then we're going to run the easy uh, water cave after, which is the west water cave. These water caves are best for their BPs. Not that I need any BPs that I'll get out of them caves. Just because I want to grab a couple of artifacts while I'm in there. So yeah, lucky for me. One of the guys on the server. Whoop. <laughs> lucky for me, one of the guys on the server has already built teleporters. There's one water cave. There's the other water cave. So I can literally just teleport over there. Which was an awesome job by him. So we're just going to hide this guy out. I'm not taking anything with us. I have got an ascendant scuba tank, which I will be put, obviously put on. When the lag disappears. Hopefully we don't crash in these underwater caves. It's the biggest pain in the arse on air official servers when you're crashing these caves. Come on. Whoop. Oh, flying sharks. Oh, there we go. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, so we've got our ascending scuba tank on. You don't need an ascending scuba tank. You can just have two or three normal tanks. It's always good to carry a spare. These are the stats I've got on this guy, 98 saddle, he's got 81k health, 16k melee, 1800 stamina. He's pretty, he's pretty close to being top stat. Apart from him being pink, everything else about him's awesome. So yeah, the entrance to this cave is 46, 89, I'm just about to go in it now. 46, 89. And now, if you plan on doing this cave, you need to make sure you've got a pretty decent mount. I'll just camera up. Make sure you've got a pretty decent mount to come in here. Because it can get pretty over overwhelming at times. As you'll see as soon as I get in. These caves are just infested with sharks. There are so many. There's alpha sharks. Well, you'll realise in just two minutes how rough these caves can get. The good thing I like about basils is that these can't sting you off. If you're on any other team, these will sting you off. I like to just lead them through. Let them follow us all the way up to this bit up here. And then I tend to just fight them all here when I've got a nice group of them. There's an alpha shark there. Just try and get as many as we can up and around. You often get two or three drops in here, they're normally reds and yellows. Let's just lay these round a little bit. Then we'll go to town on these guys, get rid of all these. That alpha's pretty colours. I do sometimes lose quite a bit of health when I come in here with this guy. But also they're just so OP, I wouldn't do it with anything else to be honest. They're by far my favourite water creature on the game. Let's just get everything in this cave fucked up, then we'll be back. Yeah, it's pretty mental how many sharks attack you in this cave. Let's just grab the good stuff out of here. Because we killed an alpha in there. There's nothing I want really. But you can see, look, I've lost half of my health. So anyway, good place to look for your drops is down here. There's a blue one. Right there. Always be very careful down here. 
because you get these little things them little lobster things and if one of them touches you it'll knock you straight out there's a little lobster there we'll just fuck these sharks up then we'll go that back for that airdrop we obviously get much higher spawns in here as well always just make sure 100% that there's nothing lurking for you. Fucking away. That there's nothing lurking for you before your air jump off. Oh, nice. I'll just take care of these. I'll have a look at that saddle. I've been looking for one of them saddles, to be honest. For when I do air. Uh, when I redo Rockwell. So I don't think I've got Alpha Rockwell on this character. We're definitely going over there to do that guy. It's an 80. It's still decent 80. It might be the best saddle I've got for that. Durability on that's trash. Anyway. So if you just come in here for the artifact. You'll be able to wing it. You'll be able to literally just come in, fly over into this corner here. Just down through this hole. You don't have to fight all these here. You have to get a red drop spawn here. If there was a red drop there, I would fight them all, but we're not doing that. You just come through here around this corner here. You can just kill the sharks that's here. Not that many will follow you around the corner. Not normally anywhere. My proof is wrong. Nah, names followed us. So there's an artifact for here. Nice and easy. I can't remember which one this is. That one's a cunning. You need that to do that alpha dragon. Well, any dragon, but I only do alphas. So we'll go back out and quickly explore the rest of the cave. So then you'll be able to see roughly where the other drops spawn. So there's normally a drop that spawns here. Well, when I say normally, there's always just a chance that a drop can spawn anywhere. So, airdrop sometimes spawns there. You often find that you get a couple on the floor here. Sometimes get one up here as well. And I don't think I've ever seen one up here to be honest, but it's always worth it to have a look. Yeah, we'll quickly fly through the fly through the cave because there's sometimes drops at the other side of the cave as well. There's also a land bit in this cave which is pretty cool. I think there's th two or three explorer notes out there. But I've already been up there and got them, so I'm not going up again. Plus, you need to bring a filer or whatever dino you like to run caves with if you want to go up there. Yeah, if you come into these caves and you're not prepared, and you haven't got a good enough dino, there's an explorer node there. You will just die, unfortunately, especially in this cave. It's one of the tougher, one of the tougher water caves to run. There's normally a drop, another drop back here as well. Maybe it's this cave got cleared out lately because I've only found one drop. And if you did want to come out of the land and get the other exploring notes, you just come out there. Maybe it's drop spawned up there as well. I've never known it. I've only been up there two or three times and I've never seen a drop up there. But I'm pretty sure that they will. Oh, there's a red drop there. We didn't see that bad boy. So we're going to have to kill our ladies here. Just to get that red drop. <clears throat> I spoke in one of my earlier videos about uh, the... Not this. The, the West Water Cave being the best cave for drops. This cave is equally as good for drops. The only reason I said that was the best for drops. Is because it's so much quicker and easier to do than this one. You can farm that one at a much faster rate.
I have found wreck saddles in the other water cave, not in this one. I found good ferry saddles in this one. I mean, you've just seen us find there a decent air. Uh, a decent Megla saddle as well. Which I need. I don't know what my Megla saddles are. We'll double check that when we get back to base. Just give this guy some quick food. But yeah, once you've got that initial group out the way when you first come in, it's pretty chill. The rest of the dinos are pretty easy. Just double check there's nothing kicking about. Well, we get there. Oh, that's a Megalosaurus. Oh, an Allosaurus. I've got a better one than that. And that boar. So, yeah, for your bigger teams, these is where you definitely want to come look for your BPs on the island. But obviously, if you're on Extinction, you're going to be running the purple drops and stuff. You'll be getting much better BPs than what you're getting here. So we're basically now just going to head back out, get up the teleporter. We're going to teleport over to the next water cave and we're going to run that as well. If I see any drops on the way, I'll open them. But if not, I'll just see you there. So that's the first water cave done. That is the east water cave. By far the hardest out of the two. So if you're coming down here, make sure you've got a good team. Now we're going to head over to the west water cave. Which was my favourite one to run because it was it's so much smaller and so much easier to run. Half the time you'd go in there and you wouldn't even have to fight either, especially on official servers. But we'll come back up here to Rattus's uh, <laughs> teleporter. And then we'll teleport over there and do that next cave now. So here we are at the next one. Drop that in there. Get them stuff on. And then we'll just go straight down. Obviously you won't have that teleporter when you're here. Server. Or in your single player. So the cords for this one are 53.10. This one's so much faster to run, so much simpler. I've already gone through this in an earlier video. If you want to uh, check that out more in depth, go and check it out. I'm just going to quickly run through it. Show you, grab the artifact, show you where the artifact is, and see what loot we find in here. So we can speed this up a little bit. So I was just about to jump off here, but it's lagged. So I've jumped off, obviously, in the water somewhere. Hopefully nothing's killing us. Come on. Yeah, it's the only thing that pisses you off about air official servers. The constant world saves and the lags and the rollbacks. I just need to check that there's nothing here before I air. Anyway, there's a yellow drop here. There's often one here. We'll leave our crack in there for a minute. It'll be alright. Pass a saddle. Shit. That's also shit. That'll be good for the grinder though. Get that organic poly when I need it. I'll also, I'm just going to have a quick run up here because you sometimes get them up here as well. There's a blue one there, and there's a red one there as well. So we're going to go back down, get there. Get the air, Basil. We're going to swim through, clear everything in that air bit, and go and see what that red and blue drop's all about.
So as you can see, there's nothing in here to clear. These caves get run very often, especially this one. So there's not normally that much stuff in here to get. Oh, nice 220 shotgun. And a Plessy saddle. We might as well grab this while we're here. And then we'll go up and see what's in that red one just up top as well. Hopefully that's something cool up here. You often find two or three in these caves. I've got two in the last one, three in this one. Mastercraft dive air saddle oh, and a wreck saddle. It's shit. It's not good for me. But that just shows that you can actually get the BPs in here as well. If you get super lucky. I've found two Rex BPs in here. A 60 odd. And I think an 80 as well. I think that 80 might be the best one I have. I'm not sure if I found a better one on Extinction or not. But anyway, just from running them two caves. 77 Allo BP. We got a trash shotgun. Come on, board, which is trash to be honest. I've got 298% BP. Pretty decent die bear saddle, but I've got a 104 die bear saddle. That's trash. I always keep me trash BPs or just in case someone on the server wants them. That might be pretty decent. Do that with a crafter. And then a nice new shotgun as well. 1k durability on that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this went. Grab the artifacts, grab some loot. So if you're playing on the island and you want I just thought it dropped spawned in there but it hadn't. So yeah, if you're playing on the island, you want to get the best loot on the island. These are the two caves to run constantly. So yeah, we're back at base. This guy recovering health well. They always do recover health quite quick. Just going to go and check out. That my other saddle to see if this one's better. Uh, 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 this one is 80. Yeah, my best one. I've got 75. Like Ethereum. Yeah, the best saddle I've got. 75 so obviously that'll go in here now we'll take this one out we'll put this in with all my other saddle bps here because it's not my best one anymore i don't know why i've got flak stuff in there shotgun i always like to try and have everything as neat as possible Put that in there, that in there, that in there, perfect. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and start uploading a lot more PVA videos, things I get up to. I've let me base deteriorate a little bit. I let me crops all die. All my beehives have gone. So on the next one, we're going to go tame up some beehives. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See ya.